the Devon Novices Hurdle is next. And there's only three runners in this. And I'm not surprised really because it's a three miles and three foot on Novice Hurdle. Which is not long to attract many runners I wouldn't have thought. So three miles and three is a long way over the hurdles. And we've got Penelope pitched up at the top for Martin Leader. Man of Born for Graham Principal and Reign of Castamere. Padre and Hogan. I guess quite a few of these. Quite a few of those. Eight, three of them. Well I guess they've all been chasing at some point. I don't think if they need to go this far. Penelope pitched up certainly has. They're away and racing. And Man of Born is in the lead. This is going to get... Tactical, I would think. Speaking from the point of view of my horse, but be bit stuff, I can say that one definitely will stay the trip. Yes, it's been running over three and a quarter miles over fences as well, so I think it's one over three mile over the hurdles already this season. I'm not sure about the other two, and we shall see. I'm surprised really there's only three, or I thought somebody would have had a novice who'd not got much chance anywhere else, and would have just slotted into this for fourth place prize money. But anyway, it's Manor Born in the lead. And Penelope pit stop second. And Reign of Castamere back in third. An awful long way to go. And it's the final day of the season. Oh, a bit of a mini recap I suppose as we're racing along about some events and stuff well first of all I can tell you that I think it's been decided today that the new season next season is going to start on the 9th of September and you've got about 14 weeks to get your horses ready and over the third flight Graham Clutterbox man aboard in the lead Graham Clutterbox the president who decides all these things a message today and it's the 9th of September so now you know all well, this will be posted in the forums at some point over the next day or so and you'll probably all be getting emails as well so everybody you know that used to play give them a shout give them a nudge 14 weeks to get your charges in for next season plenty of time Especially with an SO7, we're seeing a lot more horses returning, so that makes things a little bit easier once they get over the fifth. And Malabon is clear of Penelope Pit Stop and Reign of Castamere. And Patrick Hogan, who, from, by all accounts, from the success he's had this season, the improvement from when he returned, is probably going to be a major force next season on both codes. Which will be an interesting season. Paul Rhodes getting back to his best as well. Joshua Sutherland's had a bit of a dip this year. We'll be back stronger than ever as well. Leon, of course, who's sewn up the championship a couple of weeks ago, really. So congratulations to Leon on taking another jumps title. Somehow, I don't think he's going to get it quite so easy next season. And Manor Ball in the lead. Penelope pit stop second, Reign of Castamere third. Get over the seventh, which they're all safely over. And ball it is in front. I think it's also probably worth everybody giving everybody else a pat on the back and saying, oh, it's one of the first seasons I can run for a long time where there weren't any problems. Nobody had any little paddy fits or anything. I had a bit of a moan as I usually do about certain things when I'm commentating. But, uh, most things went smoothly throughout the season. No major dramas. Nobody throwing their toys out of the pram and threatening to quit. And it's uh, with all the other things going on in the world, that would have been the last thing we needed, wouldn't it? So we were a nice peaceful SO7 season 13. So as we said before, you've got till September the 9th to get your horses in for season 14. The order in this then is still the same. Manor born in front. Reign of Castamere is second. And Penelope Pitstop is just the back marker. As they pass the winning post then with one more circuit to go. Manor born in front. 
I mean, if Castaway is second, Penelope Pitch top third. If you've just stumbled across this video on YouTube and you haven't got a clue what's going on or whatever I'm talking about, if you go onto the Strategic Designs forums page, you'll find all about the find all about the online league and how you can get involved in it. What you need to do. Trust me, most races are a little bit more exciting than this one. And it's Manaborn in front. Penelope pit stop second. Reign of Castamere third. At this point. Seven furlongs to go. They all seem to be going well within themselves, just been pushed along a little bit at the back. Reign of Castamere. Manaborn has had an undisputed lead all the way. They've been happy to, all well, the two have been happy to let that one bowl along in front. Penelope Pit Stop sitting quietly in second. Reign of Castamere got an eye on both of the leading pair. So they get over the 11th. Bit of a slow jump that time by Penelope Pit Stop. And now Reign of Castamere is the first one to make a significant move. As they pass the five furlong pole and suddenly now Manaborn starts to quicken up from the front. So they get over to the third last and the race is on now. It's taken a while to get going but it's on now and it's Manaborn in the lead. Reign of Castamere is second. Penelope Pit Stop is back in third. And they pass the four furlong pole. Remember this is three miles and three furlongs. I don't think any of these would have been this far in a hurdle race before. And it's Manaborn in the lead. Reign of Castamere second. Penelope Pit Stop third. Manaborn is holding on in front but Reign of Castamere looks to be going the better of the two. Penelope Pit Stop looks now on for third at this point as they get down towards the home turn then now they're going to swing into the straight then they've got two more flights of hurdles to take and Reign of Castamere takes the lead the first change of lead in the race and Reign of Castamere suddenly goes two three four five lengths clear and this is going to be a case of jump it and win it I think over the last two and it's Reign of Castamere who's now eight lengths clear and Manaborn is quite happy plodding along in second Penelope Pitstop's gone on holidays and over the final flight they go and Reign of Castamere to me it's 10 lengths clear, 12 lengths clear maybe even, and uh, he's going to wander up towards the line, um, easy winner for Patrick Hogan, uh, Reign of Castamere takes it, Manaborn second, and Penelope Pitstop third.